Question 5. A car has wheels of radius 30 centimeters. It starts from rest and accelerates uniformly to a speed of 15 meters per second in a time of 8 seconds. Find the angular acceleration of its wheels, the number of rotations one wheel makes in this time. Okay. So let's look at the given information. So from rest to what? That speed. So what we can do first of all, we can find the linear acceleration. So the final is 15, the initial is 0, time 8. So 15 divided by 8 is what? 1.875 meters per watt per second squared. Okay, so we found our, our linear acceleration. We can find the angular by, we do know that of course, anything linear is rated as a product of radius with the uh, angular counterpart. So if you make the angular counterpart the subject, you have your A being divided by the radius. So you have 1.875 divided by the radius. So 30, d first of all, is supposed to be converted to to, to, centimet to meters because it's in the radius is in centimeters. So divide by 100, you have a 0 0.3. So you want to divide 1.875 by 0.3. Uh, which gives us um, 6.25 that is um, in terms of what what are the units the units are going to be rads per second squared okay so we have our angular acceleration we can now answer the other question which says uh, determine what the number of rotations one wheel makes in this time what do we know there what relation can we use so we can go back to the second the same equation that we had used in the previous question um looking at the given information we have our acceleration of course this is our angular acceleration and then we have um the time okay so this equation can be very helpful we do now know that theta is equal to so this is s is equal to ut and then plus half h squared so I've just converted it directly to to secular, okay. So what is um, of course rotations are referring to us, are referring to angular displacement. So the initial, well, we given the initial, it was moving from rest, so it starts from rest. So this guy can go, and then you have your acceleration to be six point two five rads per second squared. The time was eight. So squared. So you want to have 0 0.5 as uh, you have multiplied by 6.25 multiply against 64 which is 8, right? So at that point you have what? 200. Now 200 watts. So you have 200 radians. Now you want the number of rotations. How many rotations I or we can think of it is how many regions are in a single rotation so a single rotation has so one rotation has two pi regions so we just divide two pi into the 200 so 200 divided by two pi so basically roughly we have fit 1.8 rotations remember rotations are the same as evolutions so and that's this marks the end of our tutorial on our introduction to secular motion. Watch for check out for the next video that is going to be based on the centripetal acceleration, centripetal forces, and then dealing with the work, rotational work, power and energy. So thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.